What is going on guys, it's your boy Arno the Edits um, Today I got a new tutorial about how to motion track So I will, uh, I've already got uh, the clip set up We will right click on the clip in the composition Select track camera This will get you a uh, blue bulb with a 3D camera tracker effect And we will just, I will skip it to uh, the part when it's done what up guys so I'm back um, the camera tracker did it pretty well we got a lot of dots so if you got a lot of dots on one surface you can select this you want you want to keep the surface at one level so just like this now we click on the in the middle of the right circle create text and camera this will get as a text and we're gonna press we uh, w sorry w and make sure you got this nice press v get it up and we got this 2d track pre-run this up for the last so you can see in the pre-render that it's uh, motion track 3D. Now you want to make it 3D. So you're gonna import a new solid. There we go. Make a composition side. Add some element 3D. If you do not have this plugin, you can uh, buy it or get the free trial. This is gonna take. Uh, few seconds there we go um, we click on custom layers custom text and masks text scene setup and we get this uh, scene now press extrude this will get us the, uh, the text that was good I'll prefer to uh, to raise the bevel scale just to get a little bit depth in the uh, in the text itself now press preset and uh, you, if you don't have the pro shaders you can download them or just buy them I don't know gonna select this nice text click OK now you go to group 1 Create group now, create, go to your text, press P and R, give it uh, the position and rotation, select the two from above, and go to group one and control V. Now you go to scale, scale this down to around 50, and get it up. Maybe a bit to this side there you go now you can uh, disable the text you got this 3d text so this is how you do the 3d text you can add some uh, effects to it too so let's say you got some uh, you go to your group one and go to look multi object enable multi object and the random rotation this will give you the nice uh, effect your keyframe goes select zero we got this nice uh, turning text going on so yeah there we go uh, thank you guys for watching maybe it's only six minutes so that's okay um, please leave a like and comment I will do a a next tutorial uh, next week uh, Saturday or Sunday so keep uh, keep your heads up and uh, I hope to join Horizon soon so I'll just need to make a episode so if you want to buy an episode go on and uh, I'll make you an episode if you buy it. buy it so follow me on Twitter like and comment this video and make sure you check out my daily live stream now have a nice day guys